Hello guys and welcome to my video. My name is Clarabella if you are new to my channel, aka Melissa Argetta if you know me in real life. <laughs> For today I wanted to film the following along to a YouTuber or beauty gurus makeup tutorial. I have been loving these videos lately. So for today, I'm going to follow along to a Nikki Tutorials video. Of course, she is queen. She is so skilled, so talented. I love watching her videos. So for today, I'm going to follow along to her Perry Edwards No More Sad Songs inspired makeup look. It's a very pink makeup look and it's one of the only ones where we have really similar products. I am gonna use a few different products than she uses because I just don't have them. Um, but I am gonna try to find the most similar looking ones as possible. I am so excited. So. If you are interested, go ahead and keep watching and I'll finally get started with the video. Okay, I'm gonna skip her intro. Sorry. So to get this No More Sad Songs look started, I'm first gonna go in with this way too overpriced primer by Sisley. It is called the- Okay, she literally just said way too overpriced primer. That's not me. So what I'm gonna go in with is the Porefessional Primer. I just picked this up. Guys, please don't mind this giant pimple I have on my forehead. It does not wanna go away. It has taken up shelter and just has moved into my forehead. with another really long wearing product. This is the- Okay, so she's gonna be using a long wear foundation. Um, I don't have the Estee Lauder one, surprise. But I do have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Plus Concealer, which is very full coverage, which is what Nikki is known for. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and this is in the color Sand Beige 06. She also went in and used the Sigma 3D sponge to apply her foundation, so I'm going to do the same. So she used the Shape Tape 4 concealer. I'm gonna do the same, but mine is in light medium honey. And she's taking it all over. And now I'm my under eye area. Oh girl, no, we're not there yet. No, no, no. Did she not conceal the rest of her face? I only saw her conceal under her eyes, but it doesn't look like she took the concealer anywhere else. Okay. She's using a finger blender. So while she is priming her eyes, it looks like she actually has her brows done and she did them off camera. So I'm gonna do the same. I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna set my crease to brow bone area using a bone colored shadow to help. But I feel like her body. stuff is more pigmented than mine. When she was setting that white shadow down, it looks so pigmented. Mine is not pigmented. I'm gonna switch the video to this side since this is the direction I'm looking in. Duh. So I don't have that blush, but I do have a different blush, which I hope is similar. So I'm gonna use the Becca Flower Child blush. It's gonna be my transition color in the crease. And since this is a very dramatic look, don't be afraid to go all the way up to those brows. Hmm, really? Now with a clean brush, I'm blending out the edges for the smoothest, most precise blend of life. I think my pink is pretty similar to her pink. <laughs> Seberly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And this is going on the outer V and in the crease and on that nose bridge. It's going everywhere. What color did she say? I'm not even paying attention. She really just packs that color on and it just looks like it blends so easy for her. Where is my pigment? Why doesn't my pigment look like that? Hmm. And if after doing that you're seeing a harsher blend, go ahead and go back in with that clean brush and blend. Girl, I don't even see a blend. Okay, so she's using more red, and I don't have any red eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna put more of the Venetian red on top. Should be the same, right? I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I got it. All right, so she is taking bright red eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the color Red Ochre. 
which is sort of a darker red, but still red. I really hope this works. Y'all, I was supposed to go to Target today. I don't think I can go to Target looking like this. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. This is... Why is this one? This one is so winged out and this one is like a circle shape. What am I doing? Oh my God. I also got red eyeshadow right here. So it's just gonna extend down, I guess. Okay, we're cleaning it up. This is okay. Okay, we can make this work. How is this tutorial only 10 minutes long? I feel like it has taken me so long to blend. Oh my gosh. Whatever, I'm moving on. And if at this point in your look you're like, Nikki, oh my God, it looks like crap. Red is a really hard color to look nice during the process, but I'm promising you that in the end, it will all pull together. Now I'm taking this MAC blush Girl, I don't know about that. to deepen the outer corners and also adding a little bit of black shadow to it. And I'm first packing it on the outer corners and then with my blending brush, my clean one, I blend the edges. I feel like this look is very avant-garde. It is, um, yeah, it's, yeah. On the lid, I'm now applying Helen E's pigment in number 17. You can also go for the Vermeer color in the Modern Renaissance palette, but I feel like the Helen E pigment has a little bit more intensity to it. So she is using a super pigmented pigment, but she did say that you could take the Vermeer color and so that's what I'm gonna do because I don't have said pigment. Um, but I'm gonna wet my brush with a little, little bit of my Urban Decay. So hopefully that gives it more pigment. She usually does a cut crease where she'll like clean up the eyeshadow. Doesn't look like she's doing that. So neither am I. We're just gonna go for it. such a mess okay so hers looks a thousand times more pigmented than mine does but this is the best I could do this look is crazy oh my god we're moving on see how that totally brought the look to life like we went from disastrous to hello there on the water she said we went from disastrous to hello there girl I'm still in disastrous <laughs> I'm now applying the MAC Cold Power Eye Pencil in Feline to get it nice and smoky. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I don't have a MAC pencil, but I do have a tiny Marc Jacobs one, so. Hmm. And then I'm also applying a little bit in between the lashes to smoke it out later. On a Zoe. Oh, she is moving fast. Okay. I'm pretty sure that eye pencil is dry. It's not blending out. <laughs> That's all I needed to complete this look is an eye pencil that won't uh, blend out. Cool. Ava 325 brush. I'm smoking that out using Sketch Blush by MAC and a little bit of black. And then going back in with Illamasqua's Damon to warm it up with some red. This is so intense. Holy crap. How did she manage to not get red all over her face like I did? Or better yet, how did I manage to get red all over my face? Going in with another Helen E pigment. This one is number 16 to light up the inner corners. Okay, so she took another pigment into her inner corners. I'm just gonna take Primavera into my inner corners. And now to finish off the eye, all I'm doing is a quick black wing without the wing to hide the lashes later on. That just looks weird. Whatever. For lashes today, I'm gonna go in with the Lily Lashes in Mykonos. I know Adam used different ones, but these look closest to the ones that Adam used. So I don't have the mink lashes, but I have the synthetic version. Lily Lashes did like a sale where it was like $10 for a lash that is 
based off of their mink lashes. So this one is based off of Mykonos, but it's not the mink version. So it's 10 bucks as opposed to 30. So I said, yes, please. So I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna apply them off camera. I can't, I can't, I can't do it on camera. So I'll be right back. Yep. These are the most dramatic lashes I've ever <laughs> worn. These are intense, oh my gosh. These look a lot bigger than hers. Oh, I totally forgot to do mascara under the eye. She hit y'all with one of, one of these. Hold on, let's see if I can copy her. That does not look the same. <laughs> Maybe this side, ooh, this side's even worse. Hmm. That doesn't look the same at all. <laughs> oh, this just looks like a disaster. At least the lashes are so big, they like hide everything that I did. But they're too big. For cheeks, I'm now gonna go in with Hoola Light and the Hoola Brush by Benefit. And I'm just gonna warm up my face because I need to warm this up. First, I start swirling onto my cheekbones kind of as a contour, but not really, but kind of. And this will give us that warmth. Now for a little bit of additional contouring, I'm gonna go in with the Verdial Insta Glam Deluxe Contouring Powder in number three. I have a fan brush, but I don't think it's meant to be used to contour, but this is Nikki's tutorial, so let's try it out. So I'm gonna take this gray powder from the Smashbox contour kit on a fan brush and I'm gonna try it to contour like her. And my favorite contouring brush. Nothing too much, Ooh. although Perry doesn't look bad on camera. On her cheeks. Not a so for blush, she's using a Kylie Cosmetics blush in the color Barely Legal, which to me, with my eyes, which I don't know, <laughs> I have these curtains on them, so I can't see that well, but to me it looked a little bit peachy. So I'm going to take the Milani Blush Luminoso. Fuck. Nope, that's the mirror. <laughs> I'm going to take the blush in Luminoso, and I'm going to apply this on my cheeks. Okay, she's on highlight already and I'm still on blush, so. So for her highlight, she's using Kylie's highlight. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna use Wet n Wild. Um, and this is in the color Golden Flower Crown. This looks similar, right? That's similar. We're not gonna do the nose. I know, I'm so sad. But Perry didn't have anything. On she just nose. said we're not doing the nose. We must resist. Girl. I'm hitting the nose anyway. I'm doing it. I'm a rebel without a cause right now. All right, for lips, I'm first gonna line using this Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. So for my lip pencil, I used Whirl from MAC because I know I needed to overdraw my lips because <laughs> I do not have lips like Nikki's. And then it looks like she's going in with a really peachy colored nude lip. So I'm gonna go in with my Melted Latex Too Faced Liquid Lipstick and this is in the color Hopeless Romantic. And now to seal the deal, I'm gonna go in with a setting spray. This is All Nighter by Urban Decay, and we will lock this one into place. And that, guys, concludes this Perry Edwards No More Sad Songs Little Mix inspired makeup tutorial. Alrighty, guys, so with that setting spray in, this is my finished makeup look. What do you guys think? Do you think that I did a good job? Gird? Gird? <laughs> That's, uh, 
Sounds like when Katie Heron said gruel in Mean Girls. Okay, anyway. Do you guys think I did a good job recreating Nikki Tutorial's Perry Edwards inspired makeup look? Um, did you guys like this video? Do you want to see me recreate anyone else's makeup tutorials? Let me know down below. Honestly, I'm not mad at the look. I'm actually really happy with it. It was such a struggle to get here and it was a lot of fallout, a lot of blending, a lot of crying on the inside. So. Um, kudos to Nikki for always doing such glam looks and making them look so effortless, honestly, because this was definitely a journey, but I'm so glad that I did it because I don't usually wear this much makeup. I have never worn lashes this big, and so it's been really fun to play with makeup and to kind of go more glam and push myself more than I usually do in terms of makeup. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know I do a lot of natural looks with a lot of natural lashes. Um, so this is definitely very glam for me and I kind of love it. I might have to hit up Target in this makeup look right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely not mad at the look, but let me know what you guys think down below because it was definitely a mess throughout the whole video I know <laughs> let me know if you guys liked this tutorial this isn't a tutorial let me know if you guys liked this video and if you want to see me follow along to more tutorials or to certain beauty gurus anything like that I'm so down for it all of my social media links are down below if you haven't followed me there you know please follow me there that sounds like such a plug but you know, please do it. As always, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.